In this video I'm going to show you how to easily build a filter into your form so you can actually filter out one record out of the many in your record set uh, based on a clean combo box that has a list of all the records that you might want to pick from. I'll start off by designing the form here and I'm going to go ahead and add a combo box. Uh, I'll pull down the toolbox click on the combo box tool and I'll add it. I'm going to by bypass the wizard because I'll just build it myself here. And I'm going to right click on the combo box, go to properties, go to data, row source, find the row source, uh, hit the three dots here so I can get to the QBE and I'm going to uh, take this information from the customers table I'm going to take customer ID and company name. Now the reason I'm taking customer ID and company name uh, even though I'm just going to show the company name is that when you're matching a for example a selector list to a record set you always want to match on something very unique so you can't get any more unique than a unique customer ID. So I've got cu customer ID and company name I'm pretty happy with this so I'm going to go ahead and close this out and save it and I want to go ahead and change the limit the parameters of my uh, or properties of my combo box here uh, bound column is going to be column one because we want to use the company ID as the bound column um, column count on the format I want to make that two because there's two columns uh, I don't want a column headings column widths I want the first column to be blank because I don't want them to necessarily see the company ID I just want to be able to be uh, use it um, so I'll set it as uh, the bound column and column width to zero and and I'll set my column width uh, zero for the first column and one for the second column and if any of this is confusing you you should watch the uh, video I have on uh, combo boxes and how to set up a multiple column combo box so for the most part I think this is good let's go ahead and test it out I'm gonna uh, open up the form and so now I've got a nice clean um, list of cu customers here one well, last thing I'm going to do to this combo box is I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to the properties and under the name here I'm going to actually name it my selector so I'm going to give it a very specific name I'm going to name this combo box my selector now what I want to do is I want to open the form here in design view again and go to the properties of the form and go to the record source and I'm going to right click on the three dots here so I can get to the QBE now this record source is basically reading straight off the customers table and with no criteria on at all here so we're actually going to put one in here um, I'm going to go to the customer ID because remember the um, the selector box that we created the bound control is actually the customer ID not the company name so what we're going to do is we're going to say the criteria for the customer ID has to be like uh, and I'm going to reference the combo box in the form. So I'm going to type in forms, form one, my selector, and wildcard. So what is this saying? This is saying that this customer ID has to be like whatever is in the my selector combo box. So why did we choose like instead of just basically putting in my selector? Well, we put in like because if the combo box is empty, we wanted to come back with something. We wanted to come back with all the records. So that's why this asterisk here, the wild card, is attached to uh, the combo box. So basically, if there's nothing in the combo box, this uh, statement or this criteria basically reads like null anything and if there's actually some a company ID in there then it'll read like that company ID and anything so that'll ensure that you'll never get any blanks let's go ahead and close this out and save it here so now when I open up this form it opens up normally and if I select um, the selector here and I select a company nothing happens so why didn't anything happen well the answer is that the query that checks the combo box first before opening up the form has already run so the form has already determined that the combo box was empty so it brought back all the records what I have to do is every time I change this combo box I have to requery the form so let's go ahead and write in some uh, something uh, some event that does that 
So I'm going to go ahead and design view. I'm going to right click on the combo box, go to properties, go to event procedure, and I'm going to put the event under after update. So I'll do an after update event. And after update, I'm just going to say me requery. All that's basically saying is requery the form. And that is it. Okay? And so now when I select this particular form, there you go. And if I wanted to select uh, Island Training, I click on Island Training and uh, Island Training pops up. So now what happens if I wanted to show all the records again and not filter out just one company? Well, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and put a button on the form. And we're going to call this button, um, cancel out the wizard here, and I'm going to call this button Clear Filters. Actually, let's call it Clear Filter since there's only one. And let's go ahead and right click on the properties here. Uh, go to the on click procedure, Code Builder. And so what we want to do here is we want to say, listen, if me requery actually requeries the form, what I want to do is I want to requery the form, but I want to make sure that my combo box is uh, blank or null. So um, I want to say me, uh, my selector value equals empty string. What that will do is the next time the form requeries, it'll basically say that the company ID has to be empty string and wildcard so and anything so that means it'll it will uh, remove all the filters okay and so if I you notice that there's one record here if I hit clear filter now there's 91 so as you can see it's very easy to build a custom filter into your form where you can actually give your uh, users a way to uh, whittle through all the minutiae of data down to the, the, the uh, one piece of data that they really need.